hey y'all good morning so welcome to this vlog this is going to be the vlog of the twins birthday at daycare honestly y'all i may have to do more of the talking part like after i um drop them off because i'm i'm not running late it's just that being that i have to get both of them ready you know what i'm saying so it's just being that I have to get both of them ready, I don't want to do too much talking because it's already 7.06. But today is their first day of daycare, so I have to get them ready. I don't know how I feel, but let's just go ahead. Good morning. Good morning. Hi. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Girl, you look at me. Oh, Lord. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. Are y'all ready? Y'all ready? Y'all ready? So these is the outfits that I picked out for them today. I'm going to put a shirt under his band that is not like a onesie. So he has on this little cute dinosaur shirt with some sweats. And for her, I'm going to just do this onesie that says cutie and some tights. And they're going to, of course, have socks on. So, if y'all wondering why this thing is on her like this, because she was waking up with, like, white stuff all around her mouth. And we was like, what in the world is that? And it's because she was biting on the rail. So, that's to prevent her from biting on the rail. Um, but... First things first, y'all, what I'm going to go ahead and do is let them eat. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and let them eat. The lady at the daycare, I'm be washing all their bottles. But the lady at the daycare, she does feed them. But being that they, you know, haven't eaten all night, I do wake them up and try to go ahead. Well, not try. I go ahead and give them a bottle. As far as Kaylani hair, y'all, maybe I can talk to y'all about how I feel now that I'm washing out the, the bottle. So, they did have a trial day Friday. So, today is Tuesday. They had a trial day Friday. And it went well. It went well. Um, but this is like their first official day. They didn't have no problems Tuesday or anything like that. I was I was more so worried about them eating because at home they like they don't want to eat no type of food. So right now what I did was I bought them the Similac milk, but for toddlers that they can take up to third up to thirty six months. So it's to me it's just like. You gotta scoop it's powder because when I was giving them whole milk, when I was giving them the whole milk, it was making their um bowel move like they were getting constipated. So I decided this to go with this, and it does seem like that this is a little bit easier on their stomach, also. Once I start once I start getting them ready though, y'all, I'm gonna have to like kind of stop talking it. Um I'm not gonna put music over it, so I guess y'all can hear what's going on. But that's why I said I had to make this vlog style because I was like, if I'm trying to sit here and um get them ready, it's just too much. It's too much. So I'm just making their bottles right now. And while they're eating, what I'm going to do is, so while they're eating, y'all, being that they don't never want to stay still, I go ahead and change their pampers while they're eating because they're distracted and that makes it easier on me. So once they're done eating, I'll go ahead and get them ready. It really doesn't take too long to get them ready. I feel like the hardest part probably is going to be me trying to do something to Kaylani hair because she does not want to stay still. And right now her hair is in some ponytails.
Oh wait, I need another thing. Stop, Khalil. Stop. 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 Come on, come on, come on, come on. So y'all. Usually, <laughs> see, you see how he act now? So that's why I always try to keep one of them in the crib. But I'm gonna put a white shirt under him. Why are they explaining? They already, they had a bath yesterday. Can you stop? What, what, what the problem is? What the problem is? Hey, funny. <laughs> Mommy trying to get you ready so y'all can go. a little bit more than just um, putting some curly stuff in her hair because I would have to actually like refresh her ponytail so I'm not looking forward to that Sit down. 
Let me get this out of the way. Um, here. Look at this. The white. wash these out right quick so as i was explaining to y'all the daycare lady she does feed them breakfast but i just feed this to them you know just so they can have something on their stomach this is the go and grow by similac sensitive they were already on similac sensitive formula so that's why I chose the sensitive one. And plus being that, and the reason why they event, they got on the sensitive was because um, their it just was too much for their, their digestive system. So yeah, and I'm just putting some cereal in it to thicken it up. I make the first bottles. Y'all, I don't know if y'all remember this. I showed y'all this, but Okay, the reason why I didn't put the formula in the top is because this, you have to like change the settings to whatever type of formula you use it so it can dispense the right amount. And girl, I ain't have time for all that. So I just scoop the formula and then I just use the water only so it's just making the warm water. So, y'all, I gotta go ahead and get myself ready. I'm not even really doing nothing to myself like major because I'm just going to the gym. Like, well, I might. I might just be going to the gym, but I'm going to the gym. So <laughs> I don't have any major clothes that I need to like <sighs> put on. So I'm gonna just go ahead and get dressed. Y'all like my Christmas pajamas? So for real, for real y'all. Of course, I don't take a shower before I go to the gym. I might put these scrunchies in her on her little ponytails. Another thing, I need to get their stuff together. So she pretty much just said like, bring a change of clothes. Oh, I forgot. Y'all, my mind bad. I forgot about the bottles, Lord. Also, Khalil definitely should be on a sippy cup. But y'all, he was so, this is like a, this is not a bottle. This is like a bottle of sippy cup thing. Um, can you get your clothes out in the middle of the floor, please? 
and right here. This is a bottle, the sippy cup. It's the top. It's, I, it's not like a nipple, but I, what, Noel? I know you hear all that talking downstairs. I sure do. I'm trying to search up something for my tablet. You trying to what? Ma, you know, you know, um, um, uh, yeah, I think the, um. Have you ever had a dream that that you um you had you 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 could you do you wit you? Okay, tell your brother I said come here anyway. You forgot these clothes right here. I gotta get these big kids together. I'm not big. Did y'all hear that? I'm not big, mom. No, you said that. Just, I'll be back. I got two of their baby foods each. I also got some of the chocolate, this chocolate milk by Horizon. They actually like this, so yeah. Um, of course, their bottles, and then in this, I actually got the. I already scooped it out to the measurements for what their milk is supposed to be, and some cheese that's at the bottom. And I got some graham crackers because they really like that. So we got the wipes, pampers, face wipes, classifier wipes, and I got change of clothes here. So I'm gonna go ahead and pack all this up and then we're gonna head out. I just dropped the kids off, the oldest kids off to school. The twins, as y'all know, they just turned one because I just posted their one year birthday vlog. So they just turned one and they have been with me since they've been born. Literally every day, all day, 24-7. <laughs> Um, the only time that I have really have ever, ever had a break from them is like if I went on vacation and since they've been here, I went on vacation twice, once to Jamaica and once to Charlotte. So that's the only two breaks that I have gotten from them. Anything else is pretty much like if I was to go to the gym, they would be like in the gym daycare, but that's the only daycare experience they have had. So now that they're one, I've been saying this since the beginning. When they turn one, I said that they had to go in daycare because I just, I just doing this is for one, you know, they're getting older and it, it, it starts to become a lot. It starts to become a lot because it's like they start to move around. They don't sleep as much. They, you know, then you got to start feeding them table food. And I just felt like they would get more attention from my actual daycare provider even though I am their mother I still work and I still have other things that I try to do like during the day like go to the gym and stuff like that and it just started to become a hassle of trying to like you know deal with them 24 7 but I'm gonna miss my babies because like I said it's been every day since they've been one so that's a whole I mean since they've been born so that's a whole year and with my oldest two, I never, um, when they were born, they were in daycare since they were six weeks because I had to physically go into work. So, I'm going to miss my babies. You know, they, and then another thing is the daycare provider they're going to is an in-home daycare provider. It's not like a facility. And the reason why I decided to go this route this time is because my oldest two were in facility daycares and it just... I just feel like they don't care as much. But the thing is, what makes it harder with in-home daycare providers is, it's like, it's in their home. Like, you don't know what they're doing. You know what I'm saying? So it's like you really putting your trust. I mean, regardless, you putting your trust into facility daycare providers. Like, but usually, if it's like a facility, it's more than one person. You know what I'm saying? So it's like other people. It ain't just you. So... She, she says she's been doing it for 20 plus years though um you know i'm just stepping out on faith y'all it's, it's been hard for me though because i'm just like so many times i wanted to cry even right now i can feel the tears in the back of my eyes because it's just like they're babies like you know i just feel like nobody is gonna love them like i love them you know so i don't know but anyway so it is now 
102 and she watches them till about 5 5 30 um she does have an open door policy so anytime that i want to come see them or anything like that i can come see them but i'm not gonna do that because if they see me they're gonna cry like literally i can't even walk out their room without crying so i'm gonna just you know check in with her from time to time text and i took off work today so i could just enjoy this day of just not having to deal with <laughs> babies <laughs> honestly like I'm, I'm gonna go to the gym and then after that i might go know just to walk around in some stores or something because that's what i like to do their dad literally just got off work so he's gonna be sleeping so it's not like me and him can spend the day together <laughs> so but i'm cool with spending it by myself so <sighs> that's where we're at with that i don't know how i'm gonna be acting like i don't know if i'm gonna be crying five o'clock coming too quick you know so i don't know i don't know but i'm sure that i'll get used to it but i felt like it was time i did feel like it was time and not only that they care is expensive and you got two you ready boo boo you ready yeah. you ready kaylani look at your nose girl and where is your sock at already start Bill was crying he did not even want her to put him down like he wanted to be held but Khalil always does that I don't know why he just always do that like every time like he's not home like if it's not me or his dad he want to be held the entire time so I'm in Nordstrom's doing a little retail for the kids of course because I really don't even buy me nothing for real but I don't know about these shoes y'all I mean I like them but they just look mm. Oh no. <laughs> I found these like clear frame but with a pink tint glasses from Quay. I don't know. What y'all think? Y'all look at these shoes that I found. These is Kehlani. They might be a little bit too big right now, but they're four. All these are fours. all different types so if you have a kid this size go to North Rack. you guys the twins are home long day Your nose a little crusty. Khalil. 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 Hi, boo boo. Hi. You see yourself? You had a good day? Did you have a good day? Huh? Did you miss me? I miss you. I miss you. Girl, love your face. I missed you. Yeah. Hi. 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 Okay. Do y'all see that glow? You know what that is? You know what glow that is? <laughs> 
that's a break from kids glow <laughs> you guys it feels so good this is the next day by the way y'all it feels so good to just be in the house i ain't gotta hear no coco melon I ain't got to worry about being quiet or trying to get something done while they sleep. It just feels so good. And as much as I miss my babies, I mean, I miss them. Like when they came home yesterday, I was so excited to see them. Sometimes that's what you need. I feel like a lot of the times moms get overwhelmed when you got to constantly be dealing with kids. And I understand that, yes, you're the mother. We know that. But the same way that you need a break from your spouse or your girlfriend, or your own mom, or your own dad. Sometimes you just need that break. And I feel like, so, it's just, it's like taboo to talk about because people feel like, oh, you ain't got your kids, da, 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 da. Like, they always got something to say. You need a break. And that's why I feel like moms go through so much mentally because we be needing a break. So, it felt so good, y'all. I went, I woke up this morning got them ready took them to the daycare dropped my kids off to school went to the gym didn't have to worry about taking them in the gym with me didn't have to worry about getting them out of the car when i came home i just got out of the car everything y'all see that i know y'all see that look at look at my shoulder that's that no kids glow <laughs> but anyway you guys i just wanted to come up here and close out the video because i did not yesterday y'all there, um, my boyfriend ran me some bath water last night. I cooked dinner, made sure the kids was down for the night, everything taken care of to prepare for the next day. Took a bath and went to sleep. So, yeah. Sent me pictures of them. She said that they were doing good. Yesterday, Khalil cried when I dropped them off. Today, Kaylani was crying. So, I know that they'll get adjusted over time. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to go follow me on Instagram at all things event so you can see just a little bit more of my personality. Yeah, if you made it this far in the video, let's see. If you made it this far, you a real one, okay? You leave some um 100s. Leave some 100s in the comments if you if you made it this far. All right, you guys. I'll catch y'all later. Bye.